Hey guys, another video here. Uh, today, uh, this video is going to be my first time using a hydraulic puller set. So basically, we got a little problem from a collision right here. As you can see, this is a 2013 Nissan Maxima. This is the radiator support, the radiator, uh, condenser radiator, the fan over here. So this piece right here is supposed to be straight right under here, lined up. It is about three to four inches bent and the other side looks this is the piece right here so it's at a 90 degree angle kind of uh, vertical straight to the ground so we're going to try to realign it here uh, using first time experience with these uh, these hydraulic puller set so it's a hydraulic auto body frame repair kit i picked this box up uh, from harbor freight just an hour ago for 180 dollars plus tax and we got this chain set quarter of an inch chain i've got a couple different ones weaker thicker or thinner ones but i think we'll go ahead with these try it because it's not as heavy to be pulling so we're going to basically try to use this tree right here got the christmas lights still wrapped around it this is where in my yard so we'll use this tree hook up the chain and try to pull that uh, bent part of the subframe this piece right here so let's see how it goes i got this chain hooked up to the tree on one end the other end i've got that hydraulic puller that is a five ton hydraulic puller here and um, the kit that i purchased apparently d didn't have doesn't have the hydraulic fluid pump in it and this kit only works with the hydraulic fluid not the air pump so i went ahead and bought this one second set of kit this is the 8,000 pound or four ton capacity heavy duty hydraulic equipment kit I just bought this whole thing for like $140 from Harbor Freight just for this hydraulic fluid pump. And I got this pump hooked up right here with the hose line. So we're going to go ahead and start pumping it. We'll have to move very slowly as because if it disconnects it might just fall and snap or we don't want to hurt ourselves. So, um, one thing I should have done is put bricks under the wheels of the car. Um, maybe I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that first real quick. And uh, actually, as you can see, that thing is getting pulled a quarter of an inch at a time or so. I'd hate to damage the radiator support that I just insta installed yesterday. So, I'll be right back at you started pulling it I think it's about one to two inches pulled forward now and the hydraulic pump capacity is limited it is strong for uh, 8,000 pounds or four tons but as far as the capacity of the fluid inside is limited so what I mean by that is as I pump it comes right about this line and doesn't pump anymore so I have to readjust my chain line to make it tighter and tighter closer and restart the process again so I got the pump right over here as I'm pumping right here you can see okay let me keep pumping you can see it's starting to pull it little by little it's about a quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch at a time and we'll just keep doing that hate to damage the radiator support okay as we can see right over here it's starting to realign up top um the towards the end i might have to just kind of hammer in to straighten it a little bit more using a hammer or a sledge hammer so for now we'll just keep pumping it Yeah, I'm gonna check yeah we don't want to overdo it and then use a pusher to push that in that would make our job too difficult 
So basically the idea here is there's no frame damage. This is part of the radiator support mount, the metal piece that's mounted on the front of the frame of the vehicle. And you can buy these kits yourself. This one's $180 from Harbor Freight. This one's $140 bought that one for because of the hydraulic pump so these are things you can buy and do yourself and if you sign up for Harbor Freight's uh, newsletter emails they will also send you coupons uh, to your address as well so let's keep at it for now okay guys this part is pretty much almost finished I'm just gonna get that bumper upper uh, headlight support stamp and just do a little bit of touching and realigning so basically this one here is pretty much realigned I can put the screws in this was bent before I can screw in the bumper reinforcement front bumper reinforcement to that and the top is kind of it's not perfect but I can still move it around a little bit so but this video is not about this uh, job the problem here it's about how to use a hydraulic puller and pusher set so basically you would need a hydraulic puller kit just like this one here and the second thing you need a hydraulic you would need a hydraulic uh, pump fluid pump the fluid pumps are more solid stronger I think um, I've got the air compressor but I didn't go for the air compressor one so because of the kit this was hydraulic fluid only so I ended up buying the whole set to just for the hydraulic pump basically this one hydraulic puller kit cost me hundred eighty dollars plus tax I used a 20% coupon on this one so it was like 160 this one cost 140 with the discount was like hundred uh, 15 plus tax 114 plus tax something like that and these both of them are Pittsburgh brand so the second the third piece you would need is a chain this is roughly just under 1300 pound strength it's a quarter of an inch and I have it tied to this tree this is a 50 year plus old tree very thick it's probably uh, over six feet in diameter I mean not diameter but circumference so and uh, that's how you do it good luck with your with yours thanks for watching guys bye now